Hello, hello, hello with everyone. This is BadL24, and uh, if you guys know, a couple of years ago, um, I did a little bit of a, um, sort of like a playthrough of Trimps. It was only like five or six parts. Uh, I didn't really take it anywhere else other than those six parts, and I really wanted to do something like that again. So, call this the official start of season one of my Trimps playthrough, yes, I'm calling it a season, because we're gonna do this for a while. This is probably gonna be the biggest Let's Play on my channel, probably gonna be the most consistent one as well. I'm gonna try and get these parts up as fast as I can, uh, probably after I record the part. It's gonna go up on YouTube, no editing at all whatsoever, like most of my videos, or like all my videos here, but anyway... Welcome to the world of Trimps. If you don't know what Trimps is, I will be your guide for the world of Trimps. Basically, uh, you start with food. So let's grab some food. Then once we get five food, we can get wood. <laughs> so let's uh, grab some wood. We got five wood. And now we need ten of each to get a trap. And what this trap will do is it will allow us to catch one thing. And what is that thing that we catch? Well, if you looked at the name of the game, you would know that the thing is a trimp. So we have captured a singular trimp here. And we need to actually work on getting some, like automation going on here so we need some automation so we get that automation by switching back and forth between chopping wood and gathering food and also switching between that and building uh buildings here in our thing and we also have to switch between that and trapping trims when we get traps so yeah it's all about like switching focus between like um, between resources. At first, it's a lot of switching back and forth. That's how the game is. It's a lot of switching back and forth. But once you get the, uh, brunt of the, uh, stuff earned away, it shouldn't be too bad. Like, once you get to the later zones, it shouldn't be that bad here. And this is gotten updated a lot since the last time that I played it. It seems like this game gets like updates every like week or something like that. I don't know. It's getting updated more and more often which is good. It's a good thing that this is getting more and more updated because the people that get to really high zones uh, may cap out those zone counters and it's nice to just have that kind of thing where the game will continuously get updated, so you get more zones to do. Right, we're gonna build a couple more traps here. And by a couple, I mean three. So, as you can see, we have three out of five employed trimps. These are just workstations that help you get that help you automate the food and the wood. Later on, there'll be a uh, ways to automate recruiting metal or mining metal and researching science. But for now, we don't have that necessity. Like we don't have that right now, so we're just stuck with uh, what we have right now here. I do need to grab metal at some point, which is interesting. Also, if you have two or more trims that are not employed, they will start breeding. Which is... Poggers. You know, trimp sex. <laughs> why did I say that? I don't know why I said that. But like I said, everything's gonna stay in here. So, uh... Yeah. It'll be quite awesome. So, we can unlock a hut now, and this hut will grant us more space for trips. Also, I'm just going to click the fight button right now here because I can. Ooh, snowy. This is like the Christmas stuff. Okay. 
interesting. We also get uh, unlocks throughout the uh, thing here. So, of course, we'll get like armor and a bunch of other things. We're gonna just buy a shit ton of traps here. But we can, what we can also do is we can also just let our trims breed. Uh, once we get to the point where we can, I think we get bloodlust at that point. And bloodlust is what gives us the ability to automatically fight uh, some. That will automatically fight some uh, enemies for us out in the zone, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I kind of really wanted to redo my series on this because I didn't really do much talking uh, throughout the. Uh, Thing here, and I wasn't feeling that enthused about the entire thing, but as you can see from what I'm doing right now, I am enthused and I do want to do this because it is quite awesome. And as you can see right here, we have the ability to unlock blood loss, which is interesting. So I need shield, and I just got rid of all of my food, which is not good. Because I need that for the bloodlust. So I'm just going to tap on that. Anyway, if if you have a uh, thing that you clicked on too, for example, if, you have, if, you're, if this is on chopping, that gives you an extra one per second, wherever that may be. So for this one, we have 1.5 per second. But once we're chopping, that gives us just one, so it's two and a half wood per second which is really really cool also we can do that and let's turn on auto fighting auto fighting will basically do it so that uh whenever this tops out uh at the max whatever the max is uh it will always uh send it one shrimp out to fight once it gets overcrowded and I'm expecting to get another one of these huts built at some point. Also, we have a, uh, you can get territory bonuses in the zone, which is perfect. Because now we can just top out all those to get an easy three per second, which is honestly quite based. But of course, that means we have to trap more trims so they can breed more, so, you know. You have to keep, uh, folk switching your focus between things for the start of this. Uh, just until you get, uh, the, um, the stuff here. Also, we have, we have our advisor stuff here. I don't know what the advisor stuff does, but, uh, yeah. But, as you can see, we... How much food do I need? I need 125 food? Okay, well. We can do that. Build a couple more traps. And then what we can do is we can actually work on... Getting stuff from here. Oh yeah, the present gives you bones. So, every once in a while... Uh, you will get festive uh, things here. So we got we got two bones here, which of course allow us to trade for bonuses here. And we don't have enough bones for the bonuses, so we are not gonna worry about that just yet. But uh, we may have to delve into that at some point. Also, if you have the trap selected when your um when your uh, territory is full, it will just trap another chimp again as soon as a free space frees up. For example, if a chimp bites the dust and dies, <laughs> um, it'll do that. also a dagger. So, first instance of needing metal. For 
this. Again, we have these pretty much all automated, but we need the metal automated. So we can actually focus our attention to the science and then we can focus our attention to the metal. And at some point we can automate both the metal and the science to make it a lot easier for us to not have to worry about uh, switching our focus because then we can just let stuff run and it'll be awesome and it'll be quite puckers so I do need to okay every once in a while we'll get metal from here which is based I just hope that I get enough metal from just being here that I get stuff from like the Christmas enemies. I really hope that I do. I need to wait on that, and I also need to wait on the fucking wood. It's hard early on. Like, it's really hard early on to get stuff. But once it, once it kicks off, it kicks off. And you'll know when it kicks off, when it does kick off. Oh, we got 55 metal, which is quite awesome. Uh, we have miners, which means that we actually can hire a couple of these to lessen the blow here so we don't really have to focus on, you know, honing on mining that much. We have another territory bonus coming in clutch. Uh, in a bit here. I do need to focus on wood a little bit. So that I can actually buy a hut. And we might be able to buy this hut right around. Actually, no, not right around that time. But I will be able to buy a hut. To then get miners so that we can at least have some automation for metal here. That won't be too bad. I'm just hoping that nothing is like too bad. Because we need automation stuff. Uh, I could wait for the breeding to get down, but I could wait for the breeding to, like, kick off. We could buy another hut, but that would waste food and wood. And I need the food here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm just gonna wait this out because it, it won't take too long to get scientists at max. We'll get like at the max we have to wait like 13 more seconds. So it's not it's not too bad. Plus, we got that territory bonus coming clutch in a little bit. So it shouldn't be too bad here. Shouldn't be too bad, especially considering that I have 
food in the thing here. Also, yeah, look at that. Now I can actually research science pretty well without needing to fucking worry about shit. Big base, and let me just do another one here. But there you go. All right. Now everything is at least one per second, so I can focus on like more of this stuff, like buying some of this. It's not too much of an issue, or. It's not too much to worry about. Right now, at least. But later on, it will get to the point where we kind of do need to uh, increase our workload by a little bit. Especially with uh, stuff like this. The uh, speedrunner stuff. Because this is... Insane. Because so Speedmeyer is a loss of metal. That's going to wipe out our entire metal base. But what we can also do is we can also increase the capacity, the mass capacity of the metal. We could also increase... I don't know what we could do. We could increase... Uh, how much, um, what are max, uh, soldier sizes for trimps. But that would mean that I need to... That would mean that I need to really focus on, like, other shit. So I think we can focus on other shit. Like I really think we can. So we can do we can buy another scientist and another miner. Make it easier. Uh we can also buy a speed lumber, which increases our output by twenty five percent. Which is awesome. Because so that makes it so that we do 2.5. Which is quite based. And we can also buy Forge, which I will do. Increase that by a little bit. We don't have another territory bonus out here but I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can attempt to buy speed miner before this that is speed farming speed farming is not too bad I should say I should say that's not too bad but you know you never know about this kind of stuff I'm gonna hold off on the metal stuff just because I want to get this so that I can increase the base of this by like 25%. It shouldn't be too hard to do, maybe, probably. But yeah, consider this a like a reset of my Trimps playthrough. Um, that was done a while ago but now this is being done now and it's quite insane so I think the next zone that we get will get speed science which will increase our science by 25% increase our science output by 25% so we're almost at metal 500 And these are going to be a bit longer form uh, videos here. How long were my previous Trump videos? 
How long will I see this Trump's videos? The first part was 20 minutes, but the rest of them were over 30 minutes. So, also this game's on Steam. So I'm not I'm not playing in the Steam version. I'm playing in the HTML version of the game, which is fun. Also, speed farm, and that will do it for that. Wow, I actually managed to uh, to just just skate by and grab all those upgrades. That's insane. That is actually insane. Uh, I'm not anywhere near the cap for wood, so I don't need to worry about that yet. I say yet, but, you know. Uh, 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 it's to attack for each one. I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna beef up my trim. A little bit. Beef up the damage, beef up the tramps. And then we'll get coordination, which. Fighting one eye will probably 25% of tramps rounded up, but attack and health will grow for each new tramp. So I need this. I really do need this. And that will. We need a lot. We need everything then. We need to up our everything. What's the lowest thing that we need here? So at most, this should take us like, I don't know, like a minute? Oh, over a minute at this point? I don't know. I would need to see what the wood is like after. Whoa, what the hell? We just got metal like Insanity. What the fuck? Oh, a new building. A gym. Yeah, a minute. Yeah. So this is like a little over a minute to get the shit that we want. And then we can go for the gym. We'll add block by one. Click on upgrade. We get territory bonus at some point, which is awesome. I'm really hoping that I get more. Need to increase the metal by a little bit. And we have a foreman, so this will lessen the load of uh, us building by a little bit because uh, now we don't need to choose the build button for building. We can just let it be and it'll build automatically. Oh, how's this gonna take a hit? How's this gonna take a hit? Yikes. At max, this might take a while. I'm gonna need some good drops here. So I'm gonna need some really, really good fucking drops here. I'm gonna need some good Christmas drops. I'm also gonna need to increase my fucking workspace by a little bit, but that will happen when we get the fucking battle cell toy bonus. Meanwhile, while that's going on, we can probably increase our health. Oh, 
Oh, we just spent metal. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we don't really need signs for anything except for upgrades. So signs being strictly for upgrades is great because we don't need to spend signs on literally anything else. I'm just trying to like do shit here. Also, this down here does not reflect what uh what the time of me what the time of this recording is. That's literally the time that started when I loaded up the web page. Also Oh yeah, at, at most it'll be like thirty ten seconds, yeah. At most it'll be thirty seconds for wood. This metal really just kind of, yeah. It helped me a little bit. Right now we get two per second for the for the signs, which is based without a shadow of a doubt. And our efficiency is going to go up. We'll be twice as efficient, which is actually really fucking awesome. But also, I need to build traps. Okay, so we trap stuff faster, which is unbelievably based. And we get stuff faster, which is awesome. Thing is, though, that we have no resources, which is a big bro moment, if you ask me. That's a big bro moment here, but we do have an ace, which is pretty cool. That will up our attack. By quite a bit. We also need... Do we need another hut? I don't think we do need another hut, but... I don't know. I need 400 wood for that. I need 542 wood. I'm hoping that I get a uh, lucky drop from a Christmas monster. So we look over here in the story of stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, well fed. Yeah, that is actually base. So glad that I got the uh, well fed thing. Because if you get the food, water, metal while this path is active, you can share with your workers to increase their gas speed by 50%. Which is really, really, really good. Because we have another compound at 50%. On top of the two, on top of the double efficiency that I have. So, yeah, that is pretty awesome. Our next upgrade is speed signs. Mm -hmm. Although, we're getting pretty good with, um, or resources here. We actually will have 500 signs before we get there. And anything else that we need, we can just just tack it on. Although I think we do need a couple of huts. Here, I just hope that we don't need any wood. Actually, this is base. We get all those to five. And 
and make it easier for us to do stuff. We need some need to build traps. Just have traps in the background here. So as you see it, when we started off like a half an hour ago, we didn't really have anything all that much, but now we're we're making some slick progress, actually. We are making some slick progress. And we're continuously breeding trimps to fight in battles. And we're blowing through these battles pretty quickly, actually. Like, no joke. How much for speed science? Oh, we can actually afford it. Based. Yeah, the science only upgrades are the ones that are really good. Because they only require science. Stuff like speed miner, though, requires a butt ton of uh, metal. So we will need to, you know, do that. Also, I'm lagging, so I do need to... So we do that. So we just set it to that. So performance balls makes it a bit choppier, but it makes everything a lot smoother. And I was lagging quite a bit here. So no animations are needed. Here at least. So I need buy boots and that because that will increase shit. Need to increase my bar. Need more food. Helmet. And 10 health to each soldier. So we have 316 health. A total of two shrimps available. Oh, 184 metal. That is awesome, actually. That's actually quite base. Uh, we could use another hut. But I also want to see what we got going on. Here. If I buy this forge, I may not be able to buy the speed miner for a little bit. From the looks of it, we are going to get to the speed miner quite fast. So, I just need to eyeball it. I need to eyeball the fuck out of this to see how much... I need to roll. Oh, never mind. We didn't have enough anyway. Boom! There you go. Eat up. Eat the fuck up. Oh, I don't even need to worry about these because I got another territory bonus coming up here. I don't even need to worry about fucking. Yeah, there you go. And... No, just because I can. Boom. More food. So we got some science. We got some more metal stuff going on here. We're rich the fuck out of science, which is awesome. Metal, not so much, but we can get there. We can most definitely get there. I'm just going to make all these cap out 4,000. Put 
Okay, what's next for the speed lumber? Speed lumber, I'm gonna need 700 of those. So we do need a bit more. Just a bit more. Yeah, just a bit more. <laughs> Um, wood here, but what's good is that we have our metal stuff here. So I can compound these things. I have enough science for all of it, so we, uh, we're pretty much good here. Oh, we got 217 wood. That is actually plain wood. That is... Based without a shadow of a doubt, that is Omega Uber Extra Base. <laughs> Dagger Highlighter, which is probably something that I need. Each part of this is going to be about an hour long, so uh, you'll have a lot of content to watch here. Especially since the strengths. Um... But, yeah. This is going to be your, like, fun series. I'm going to try and uh, record as much trips as I can. Here. And then I'll make a playlist of the entire trip series so that y'all can, you know, stay up to date on the lore of uh, trip series. Even though there's probably not going to be lore here, but, I mean... You never know with uh, this kind of stuff. There could be lore hidden anywhere, but, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm not the person that you should look for for lore, because I know nothing of that shit. Buy another one. Just because I can. Just because I can. Gonna increase that by a little bit. And then I'm going to wait for the food to get down. Then I can go bop and bop. There we go. I don't even think I need more science stuff, but I mean, it wouldn't hurt to, you know, get some more shit. It would not hurt. We found 251 food. That is beyond base. Once you get to a point, your um, your bar will fill while your trim stuff fighting. So it wouldn't be too detrimental because you're not really wasting much time not fighting. Um, I could build that, uh, and then I need to worry about wood. So, if I, if I want to buy the next coordination upgrade, I need to worry about all of my, uh, resources. We'll just drink some water. But yeah, hope y'all are ready for the new season of Tramps. Cause I know I am. The old, the old blew it out of Tramps, uh, suffered a horrible fate at the hands of, uh, you know, we'll not, we'll not talk about that. We'll not talk about that right now, you know. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> or am I? How much do I need for this coordination? If I'm right, I should be able to afford this just right now. As soon as it drops, I should be able to afford this right now. Yes! Yes! Coordination. Bring out three trimps now. If 
Fight, fight, fight. Step up your block game. Ooh. Ooh, woo. What could that be? Whatever could that be? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm gonna buy the fuck out of that. Buy the fuck out of those helmets. Gives me way more health than I ever needed. Ooh. Trainers. Okay. So. For the trainers, I need a thousand food to upgrade this. But then I can also use this territory bonus that I got going on a little bit. Quite interesting indeed. This is more interesting. It just got quite a bit interesting actually. So we got that and we need food for the trainers. Who would have thought that you need food for trainers? <laughs> Who would have thunk that? Who would have fiddly fiddly thunk that? Also, I need to max out on a couple of these. Should be fun though. I need the trainers so that I can increase the base block by 50%. And I should get to close to 750. This won't take longer. This won't take a little bit longer here, but then I'm out of food. But then I will literally be out of food here. And then I can just afford another farmer to do my bidding for me. Three shrimps just imploded. Thank you for, thank you for that message. Uh, what do we have going on. Sorry for that, I was just kind of looking at my phone. What happened? Oh, we got some new shit here. New shit just got made. So I'm doing jailbreak stuff on my phone, not Roblox. Ooh, I can buy a couple of pole arms. 
which will increase the damage even more, which is phase two. Thank you, present, for dropping the 260 metal for that. Which is extremely uber race. Also, this means that the, um, the enemy attacks first when they have that little fast four icon there. Oh, two in a row. That is not optimal. Because ideally, we want to attack first. Ooh, 260 wood. That is actually based. What can I buy here? Oh, I can buy a boy and a shed. I give that one. And then I need to make sure that we get our resources up because we need to worry about these impending upgrades up here next. So yeah, again, hope you enjoyed this series. I'm probably gonna have a lot of fun with this. I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'll try to record the series as much as I can. I uh, probably might even do a couple of live sessions of trims on my Twitch. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. But yeah, I'm not going to edit anything in this one. Because I want you guys to see the full, uncut, raw uh, footage of what I'm doing during a Trims playthrough. Because the last time I played this game was like a year or two ago. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a year ago. But yeah, that'll be about, I think this is where I can, you know, safely end this part of our Trimps saga. So in the next part, we continue on our journey through Zone 3 and beyond, and uh, also upgrade all the miners and do a bunch of other shit uh, in this game of Trimps. I will see all of you. In the next episode, later.